In today's class, we are going to learn Simpson's rule and this is a method of numerical integration. So let's see how it can be done. This is a general formula for Simpson's 1 by 3 rule. Integration of a to b f of x dx is equal to h by 3 into y0 plus yn plus 4 into y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus etc. plus 2 into y2 plus y4 plus y6. There is a multiple of 2. Okay. It is 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. That values you have to add and multiply by 2 and others. That is 1, 3, 5. They are added and multiplied by 4. Or else consider take the odd one of y values. It is y1, y3, y5, y7, y9 and so on. And with 2 you have to add and multiply the even values. That is 2, y2, y3, sorry, y2, y4, y6, y8 and so on. Okay. Here y0 and yn are the extreme coordinates. y0 is the first coordinate of y and yn is the last coordinate of y. And the others y1, y2, etc. They are the remaining coordinates. And here one h is there. Okay. To find h, the formula used is h is equal to b minus a by n. B and A are the integration range. That is A to B. Okay. So B minus A by N. N is a suitable number. And normally it is given in the question. If it is not given, you have to take the value on your choice. So that is H. H is equal to B minus A by N. Okay. Now, the second one for Simpson's rule is Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. The formula is, see this 3 by 8, you have taken it here. 3 by 8. And the previous one, it was 1 by 3. So the formula was h by 3. Okay, that you have, that way you have to keep it in mind. Integration of a to b f of x dx is equal to 3h by 8 into y0 plus yn plus 3 into y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus 2 into y3 plus y6 plus y9 and so on. That is multiples of 3. Here the multiples of 3 you have to take and then here the other values. Okay. So this is for Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. y0 and yn are the extreme coordinates. y1, y2, y3 and all are the remaining values. So h is the same formula h is equal to b minus a by n. Okay. Now you are having a question for solving. Integration of 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus x square dx. So here the value of n is not given in the question. So I am assuming as 6. So n is equal to 6 h is equal to b minus a by n. Substitute b is 1 and a is 0. Right. So 1 minus 0 by n. So that will be 1 by 6. Now you got the value of h. h determines the interval between the x values. Okay. x value the starting is 0 and the last is 1. That is a ranging values. Integration ranging values. 0 to 1. That means the starting is 0 and it should end with 1. In between them, you have to break it. Right. For breaking that range, we are using this h value. That is each interval is 1 by 6. Now let's see. First value is 0 and the last value is 1. This, see, with the help of that, you have to create the table x and y. Why you know that is the question. 1 by 1 plus x squared. First, you have to find the value of x. Starting is 0. And then we found h as 1 by 6. Right. h is equal to 1 by 6 we got. So 0 plus 1 by 6. 
you will get 1 by 6. So you got the second value, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6. You got the third value, 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6. You got the fourth value, 3 by 6 plus 1 by 6. You got the next 4 by 6 and 4 by 6 plus 1 by 6. Okay, 5 by 6 and then 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6. That is 6 by 6 and that is 1. See, this way you have to find the values of x. Okay, that is n you have to assume. Substitute in the formula b minus a by n and find the value of h. h determines the interval, the gap or the difference between the consecutive x values. So, the first is 0 and then add that particular h value. You will get the next and so on. And now you got the value of x. Substitute in the question that is 1 by 1 plus x square. Substitute 0, find the value of y. 1 by 6 and find the value of the second case. 2 by 6, that is 0 0.9. 3 by 6, 0 0.8. 4 by 6, 9 by 13. 5 by 6, 36 by 61. And 1 by, that is 1. And you get 0. Okay. Now direct substitution in the formula. Simpson's 1 by 3 rule. Direct substitution. Go for 1 by 18 and then 1 plus 0 0.5 plus. So this way you have to solve. So you have in the equation. Just substitute. Y0. Y0 is 0 and Yn is 1. Okay. Take the other values. Direct substitution. And you will get the answer. This is Simpson's 1 by 3 rule. For Simpson's 3 by 8 rule, same way, same table, substitute in the formula, you will get this answer. Okay. This is the way how Simpson's rule can be used for solving a problem. Okay. Now, these are some exercise questions I have given. Go through that. Here I have written Simpsons 1 by 3 and Simpsons 3 by 8. And along with that, this can also be solved using trapezoidal method. So try the same question for solving using trapezoidal method. So hope Simpson's rule is clear for you. Thank you.